Okay, we're going to do a falls risk assessment now. So we're going to testing mode, select falls risk on the screen, they then ask you for the patient's name, age and height. Okay, and then it asks where your feet need to be on relationship to this. Okay, so this is where your left foot should be and this is where your right foot should be. So if you're using the, um, the grid on the deck, okay, the left foot should be, the left heel should be on position D6. So if you look at the grid, there's, there's D and there's 6. So you need to put your foot forward for me. A bit more, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Yeah. And the right foot should be on D16. in this position, you push confirm, and you'll see the little cursor now, so if you, without leaning forward, you need to just move your feet forward about half an inch for me. Move your feet forward. Yeah, just a, just a fraction. That's perfect. So, that's where your patient should be standing to do the test. Okay, then you push record. And then any printouts or data save that you do, those, that position will be printed out for you or saved for you. Okay, the falls risk test is three trials, 20 seconds per trial, and it starts on dynamic level 12, which is fully dynamic but very stiff to move and over the 20 seconds it will gradually unlock down to level 8 which is about the midpoint. Okay, so, you ready? Okay, so make sure your patient's happy and you're all standing up straight and then you push collect data. You get a three second count and the test has started. So if you can let go for me now. <laughs> okay, and the object now is to try and keep the cursor in the centre of the bullseye. Okay, you can hold on. You then get a 10 second count, and so you can have a 10 second rest. And the second try will start. Okay, Abby? During the test you can see the patient's score that he's, he's scoring over on the right hand side. results and then you get the, the colored bands are by age group obviously we didn't set up the, the patient's data correctly in the middle but the little pointer that you can see should be in the colored band for your age group and it gives you an overall score of how stable and, and what roughly where you should be for your for your particular age group <coughs> 